Okay, so here is my Vita, um, and uh, it's playing uh, Persona 3 Portable at the moment. And you'll notice I can move the cursor up and down using the analog left analog stick, uh, but I cannot go left or right. I'm going left or right. And then I can go left or right when I use the D-pad, go up or down, but I can't go left or right with the stick. Uh, so I am now going to replace this. Um, I have gotten a replacement part. Uh, it was $22 with shipping, and uh, Sony actually asks for $129 to uh, replace this part. Uh, a new Vita is currently $199. Uh, so it's not really worth my while to send it to them. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, I found the right screwdriver. It's a 1.6 millimeter. Uh, the, the website says I should be using a Phillips number zero, but these aren't numbered that way. So, Theoretically, this is the only size screwdriver I need. So, the number one thing that I am likely to do is lose screws or not know where they go. So, I am going to clearly label everything. So, bottom of the device, actually that's the top of the device, isn't it? No, not there. Here. See? Right there are two screws that have to be removed. Two more screws on the bottom near the charging port. Right here. See? Oh, there. You see those? There. There. Okay, so this is where things are a little different. Because that's from iFixit. And iFixit sells those plastic opening tools, whereas the YouTube videos that I've seen, people just pull the darn things off. There we go. And now I've got it open and this came off. This... I don't know where, what that is. It just fell out. Hmm. Here? I don't know where that went. Okay. Don't know what this is. You see this? No idea. It just fell out. Now I'm supposed to free the touch screen cable, which is right here with the spooger. But again, Got it. Okay. Just popped out. That works okay. There 
we go. Pulled it off. Seems to be pulling up worked better than pulling back. So now I have the touch screen. This is the battery apparently. Uh, this is the back touch screen. And this is really what I want to work on. This is the left. Even though it's on the right, but we're looking at it from behind. Still a little worried about that. Is it a spudger or a spooger? I don't know. I'm not spooging, so. This is the. Okay. And that comes out. Ah, and I've screwed everything up. That's the left shoulder button. And the. Oh, look at that. Okay. Did that. There's a tab right here. Tab is now up. This is the flex cable. And flex cable is out. In this case, because we're on a low budget, I'm just using tweezers. Got it. Done. Now we have to do the same thing for the flex cable on the card reader, which is right here. So first we have to take the tab up, done, and then Pull the flex cable off, done. That's not the same as in the picture. There was another something on top of this. There, these are in two connections, so. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to skip that step because it says there should be two boards. This board should be separate from the lower board, and there is no board there. So, I am going to continue on. Let's push that down. It's coming apart. I don't need this entire side. So according to iFixit, there was another board on top of this. There's not one, so we're just going to continue. There should be a tab here. So I just pried up. And then I pried this large flex cable out. Done. Large flex cable is out. Still worried about this. Don't know where it goes. Haven't seen any indications of it in the pictures. I may have to watch the video again. That's a camera. Oh, nippy. Okay. Six screws. Blue screws. So let's do that.
this whole green assembly here. So, and it says starting at the top. There we go. Ah, left button board. D-pad. Right. D-pad. Analog stick right here. Woo! We are there. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. Holding the joystick in. I can see them right there. They are where they're supposed to be. Right there. To the offending stick wasn't connected huh let's get the screw out perhaps I did not need to buy a new one anyway. Maybe it was just a bad connection. Where is that connected? Oh, I think that was the first one that I disconnected. Okay. Got it. Okay, so. Bad stick. Good stick. Right here. In baggies. So. Stick out. I blame Rayman Legends for the demise of my stick. Even though I was playing uh, Persona 3 Portable, when it went, the, uh, the stick probably got a lot of wear and tear from Rayman Legends. I'm I So, uh, going by the picture, I have done that entirely wrong. Uh, the L should go this way, not this way. Ah! Okay, just move the whole table. So this large flex cable, see this is the scariest part, because pulling flex cables out is easy, getting them back in, eh, you have to go right in there, don't tell me this is easy, ah, went right back in, ah, look at that, oh my god, this might actually work. Just so you know, I'm the reason why I seem to be getting up every step is I go over to the computer to look at the step-by-step -step guide on ifixit.com. Cuz this is actually the flex cable from A new joystick so it doesn't have quite the bend the natural bend 
than what the first one did. I just wanted to go back in there. Come on. This is where the swearing starts. It's in! It's in! Clip that down. It's in! Okay. Which goes... There's just a piece of plastic right there. That seems to be where it goes. Nope. contained Make sure. is it flush there's a little notch in the bottom and there's a little piece of plastic on the bottom to make sure that it's lined up correctly up, tab is up, and flex cables back in, tab clips down. Now it's time to reconnect the back. I don't know where this came from. So. Aha! Yes, in fact, there's another one there. Huh, I wonder why that was loose. Okay, back on schedule. A little puzzle solving there. Camera is not quite lined up. I can see the camera there. Everything seems to have lined up again. A screws. This might actually work. So, step three, the two screws from the charging port. That's it. We are together. Moment of truth. Oh, we have power. Select the date and time. Obviously, I disconnected my battery, so... Um, I have to re-input the date and time. So it is currently up 
updating database. Oh, I haven't put the uh, memory card back in. That would be a problem. Woohoo! Okay, a quick cut because I realized that I hadn't replaced the SIM card or uh, the game card in the system. But as you can see, uh, I've now put them back in and I have uh, rebooted the system. So uh, you can see that I now have Uncharted, which is the game card. Uh, and there's Persona 3 Portable, which started this whole thing. So let's get Persona 3 Portable going. The test. So that's where we were when this all started. And I can go up. I can go down. I can go left. I can go right. Woo! New... New analog stick works fine. Yay! And that's uh, how you can replace the analog stick in the PS Vita for $22 as opposed to sending it to Sony and getting them to do it for $130. Okay, thanks! Bye-bye!